a group trained to work together. And when we do it, and we do it correctly, it's quite magic. The hairs go up the back of your neck. It's unbelievable what happens. is basically the musical boss. Now, the fellow who was our MD was Ian Miller, who joined us in April 1992 and left us in June 2019. 27 years he was with us and we went on a fabulous journey with that guy. Fabulous journey. We've got this book for him to commemorate uh, his time with us from 1992. This is before he came. And there's a very young looking group of guys. My favourite memory with the choir was last year and last October when I was, as chairman, had to go and collect our trophy at the Nerry International Music Festival where, for the first time of asking, we actually won the male voice choir section. As far as Ian was concerned, was the pinnacle of his 27 years. We go up five or six gears when we get in front of an audience. I, and Ian used to say that, he says, once I get an audience in front of you guys, you're an entirely different group of guys, and you do it. I repeat, I love you, sweet. And we do an approximately about 20 or 24 gigs a year, a couple of months, max type of thing. Uh, so that's a lot of gigs. We've done, we've, we've done some uh, hospices, and uh, we've, had, we've had women who probably didn't react for several hours, suddenly opened up and said, oh, as one woman said in her third song, oh, you've started. <laughs> Often we go to the community and go into Glasgow and we do what we call a sing-out where we'll just go to a bar or a restaurant and we have a meal and then we'll just decide to sing. Most of the guys on average have been here for 15, 20 years. The feeling you get, the camaraderie, we rarely lose a guy. We've lost a few, of course, due to natural causes, but we'll let that be said <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> Our oldest member is Brian Morn, and he was one of the originals from October 1986. It's very difficult to get boys and young men to come and do this type of stuff. But once we get them, they love it. Singing a song that was written in 1940 and sung by Frank Sinatra is not necessarily going to attract someone who's 24. But if you're singing an Adele or you're singing a Justin Bieber, uh, uh, that type of music, then you've got a better chance. And that's what we've, we're trying to move in that direction. We would love to leave this as a legacy to, to another generation. They can take the journey on whichever way they want. For a young lad and he's 25 to come in and they go on their own 30 year journey. That's what I would love to see us do.